a fascinating uh, initiative. I mean, uh, it's incredibly interesting and extremely interesting I, uh, because uh, uh, for my experience, it's, it's very unusual that there is a mixing of uh, politics and science in, uh, at the same time. Uh, mostly, they, um, these two fields are very separated, they never uh, 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 interact. And the Congress of the Future, the Congresso del Futuro, uh, it, it, it's, a, it's a wonderful opportunity because it's not just, um, let's say, a meeting among uh, uh, preeminent scientists, let's say, but it's also a way to discuss with politicians about uh, specific issues. In this case, we have the discussion about education, uh, the role of science in, 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 in society, the climate change, so big, big problems that need to be solved just uh, uh, in, after discussion between scientific and scientists and politicians. So uh, really, it, it's really, a, um, uh, I really appreciate the invitation to, to, to stay here and it was a, a wonderful experience for me. So uh, what I am saying is the plants are intelligent organisms and they are conscious organisms. What, what, what do we mean? So it, it's, it's, uh, what do we mean with these two terms, intelligence and consciousness? Intelligence for me is the capacity to solve problem. And, so, and the plants are incredibly brilliant in solving problems. It's not by chance that they are 97.5% of the biomass. So in biology, we are very proud to be, to be men, of course, no? because we are thinking that we are the, the top of a creation and so on. But in biology, uh, 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 the, there is one, just one way to, to measure the success of, a, of, a, of an organism, of a group of organisms, and is to measure how mass, uh, how is this mass, how they, they were able to spread themselves in a system. So, in, uh, is, uh, uh, how big is their market, we would say, in economical uh, term? Well, and the market of, 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 of the plants is huge compared with the animals. So they are really the most successful uh, organisms on, on the planet. I'm not speaking about mathematical problems or uh, chess problems, something, but problems that uh, they are uh, uh, of, of the life, uh, interesting the life of the plants. So plants, for example, are able to learn how to cope with specific stress, like salt stress, cold stress, or drought, and so on. And they are able to, to, to react to this problem in a better way uh, in, in, uh, in repeated experiments. So they are really able to, to learn. So they learn from the experience and they, uh, uh, and they make better performance in the future. And consciousness, what, what I mean with consciousness is nothing strange or related just to the human or to the soul. Uh, 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 consciousness, it's just awareness. I mean, uh, Consciousness is something that is make us able to be aware of the environment of in, in which we li which live, in which we live, and from this and plants are perfectly aware of the environment of the environments. They are aware of the physical um, uh, world around them, but they are also able uh, to to feel uh, the behavior of the other organisms. And so yesterday in, in my talk I showed some movies uh, uh, um, uh, making evidence that plants were also able to feel the behavior of other plants. I lead a, um, an international lab that is called LIMV, that means uh, 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 that it's the, plant neuro, the International Plant Neurobiology Laboratory. And we have uh, the, 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 the central uh, uh, site is in Florence, Italy, and there is a, an, another site, it's Kitakyushu, Japan. 
uh, we have a long story of a collaboration with a uh, with, uh, uh, professor of the University of Kitakyushu. And so, uh, uh, a, a four or five years ago, I don't remember exactly, we decided to, to start the, uh, a site of the LIMV. And, uh, uh, and the, collabor the collaboration is great because for uh, uh, Japan people and in general for uh, um, ASEAN people, uh, there is n uh, no problem in, uh, in understanding that plants are uh, uh, very complex and sophisticated organisms. I mean, the idea that plants are kind of object, it's something that it's more uh, 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 honed to, to, the Western, to the Western culture. In, in the Eastern, uh, uh, Eastern culture, uh, m much more uh, uh, um, toward a kind of unification of, of the nature. Now they say a nature something uh, more uh, complex. And so it, it was at the beginning of my work, uh, of my job in, 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 in this field, it was much more easier to find colleagues interested in that in Japan. This is why from them, uh, Japan is my second country, and uh, uh, I spend a lot of time with them. And, uh, and uh, I have a lot of colleagues making a lot of experiment. Because the Japanese are also very practical uh, people, they are mostly interested in practical application of, uh, of uh, uh, our uh, idea. And uh, uh, for, for example, now there, are, uh, there is a new startup that was created uh, 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 around the lab, let's say, that is, uh, is studying uh, LID uh, light for photosynthesis, no? And uh, uh, LID uh, uh, are very efficient in providing the light to the plant for, for growing in a very efficient way, just consuming a, a very small energy. We are very interested to, to, to set up in Japan is a, it's a lab uh, uh, on the artificial photosynthesis. So artificial photosynthesis, it's a kind of dream because photosynthesis, it's an incredible efficient way to, to fix the energy of the sun and to transform in chemical energy. And uh, uh, there are not so many labs in the world interested in such issue. Whereas we think that, me and my colleagues in, in, in Kitakyushu, we think that it's an incredibly in, in important issue. And we have the professor uh, uh, Tomonori Kawano, uh, that is leading uh, a wonderful project for building a, a new kind of leaves, artificial leaves able to, to make artificial photosynthesis. Well, in general, uh, uh, Japan and, and many, many other ASEAN countries uh, have a strong uh, uh, attention for science and for development. And they invest uh, um, a very significant part of their GDP in, in, in science and technology. Uh, the percentage is much higher than European countries and also Latin American countries. So, first of all, I would, I, I, I would suggest every politician in the world to follow that example because there is no way to, to develop a countries without investing in science and technology. A developed country needs to invest in science and technology. Mm -hmm.